The name of the show is The Way to Go. My name is Alan Bendich. I'm going to be your host. Tonight's guest is Max Bendich. I don't know what you're doing, my son. Good. How are you, Pop? Really? I'm fine. Alan, again, yes. everything is going, it, it's true. Yes. Every, everything is going my way. I know. Everything is going. You look great. Uh, th there's no reason why. They, I'm not bragging. Right. I'm, I don't know why it doesn't happen to other people, but Alan, I feel fine. I know, you're like a hundred, you're over a hundred and a half. That's right. Uh, you're uh, over uh, it already. Everybody say, oh, you're a hundred. I say, Shh. Don't take that half a year away. <laughs> it's more than a half. It's I like seven it. months. I know it. I can't believe you're on your way to be 101. I'm pushing it. I know. But uh, so we've been having fun, right? Yeah. I mean, um, I guess it was last week, right? We, we, shot a, we shot an episode of, or was it two weeks ago? Whatever, it was two weeks ago. We shot an episode of Scriptless, mm -hmm. and uh, Scriptless MD, you know, the doctor portion of it. And it was fun, right? You had a good time. I always have a good time. Only for one of the big reasons, I'm with young people. It's true, even though they're all, I'm older than everybody else, but uh, this is definitely young people. Right. And I see how, how they're interested and how they want the best for things to happen, and they hope that I do it, right. and they'll lend in to you or to somebody, it was or funny. they themselves. And we had one of the guys that was uh, on this show uh, a couple of years ago. He, uh, he's a writer, he's an actor. I, I, I acted with him and then, uh, then he came on the show and he started, and he was a writer. Mm -hmm. And in the back of his book, he talks about us and scriptless and all this other thing. So it's, it's interesting, you know, and that's a guy named Randy and uh, he was sitting on the couch. But uh, it was interesting, we, had, we did this whole uh, like group therapy session, right? That was fun. Um, I, 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 even though I don't need it, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> that group therapy, it's, it's, it has to be that way. One, I have to make sure that I say something so you can answer me back. Well, well it's actually the person who you're answering is Jim. He plays the doctor, right? So, Dr. Uh, Kazak. Dr. Kazak. Dr. Kazak. <laughs> he, he's giving me some good advice. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you listen, right? And, and it's amazing. Like, even his girlfriend who came in mm -hmm, to watch uh, the, uh, the first time, not the last time, but he was there, like, she was there the last time we did this. She was saying, where do you come up with this? Because he does sound like a psychologist, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the questions he asks and uh, all that stuff. Uh, and, and, the, and the questions are the, right. the way he asks I them. Know. In other words, he wants to help. <laughs> and he's wondering, why, doesn't the, why do I feel it and why doesn't he feel it? Right. A little more, a little this. And now that we're working together, that's right. what, look. But you know what happened the last, and what happened, which was kind of a little scary. Uh, you know, we get there and Jim, Forgot to buy the cards. Mm -hmm. yeah, so oh, yeah. remember, we, we so mm -hmm. we didn't have the uh, the um, the cards that you put all the information mm -hmm. on. So we had to go and got we got two more cards. So at least now now Jim has two cards and I have two cards, and we both you know we're both responsible to bring it because he's also the editor. But it's great, and uh, I think we're 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 almost finished with the first season of editing. He's editing now episode nine. And the first season is 10 episodes, so we're, we're almost there. It's pretty exciting. How long normally yes. do, uh, again, a show? A show goes anywhere between 25 and 27 minutes or something like that of, of scriptless. Of scriptless. Right. So it's, uh, but it depends. If we have, sometimes, you know, every now and then it, it, we've had some episodes where s something happens to one of the files or one of the scenes that mm -hmm. we shot, or... You know, whatever, we, we don't have a good, we think we have an angle, but then all of a sudden we realize, oh my God, there's a microphone sticking out, you know? So um, we, we've, we've added some stuff. As a matter of fact, the, the episode that's on right now, that's on TV right now, um, oh no, it's next, the next one, episode seven. We shot it, the first part of it, I think we shot back in um, episode seven, we probably shot in August, right? right. Then Jim came on the show in November, so we shot some of his scenes in November, and then we shot some stuff about two weeks, uh, two months ago, of you and Jim doing the final scene of it. So it was like three different times, like a whole year apart. And How long is the approximately? We may, we may not know the exact yeah. stripless. Uh, 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 it's going to take. What do you mean? From the beginning. Though it's not well, scriptless. The first season's over. It's, mm -hmm. You know, as long as we want to do it. I mean, it's a it's a television show. It's a television show. So that happens. You know, we shoot a half hour episode every. Right. Uh, you know, when when we do it, 
I mean, I'm not looking to stop. Right. Are you looking to stop? No, right. No, right. <laughs> so it's like we're in season two now. And, um, you know, as long as we can continue doing it, I'm going to continue doing it. Uh, and actually, it isn't the same thing all the time. It's a different thing. Well, this is a whole different. Uh, the first season was more of uh, somehow we got involved with, like, family, but then family became, like, uh, you know, kind of like gangster family. All right. That's all right. But now this time, this is we're, we're focusing in on uh, Jim's character, and he plays um, Dr. Kazak. Kazak. And I'll, I'll even say, you know, basically, it's a spoiler, but I'll give it, I'll do it. Um, but, you know, he, he was a prominent psychologist. I wanted him to be a psychiatrist, but somehow it became a psychologist. And he, uh, he loses his job. So initially we were going to do, he was going to be a regular, do a doctor, a pulmonologist, but we want and we, we've actually filmed in a doctor's office, but that didn't work out, so we had to change it. And he comes, he, he's walking down the road with his assistant as a psychologist, and he sees a help, help, help wanted ad, I mean, a sign yeah. in a bar, and he thinks, you know, bartenders are like psychologists, why not try it? And he walks into the bar and he gets the job. So that's, the, that's how... Yeah, you because know, I like working in bars. You know, I like shooting in bars. So the next time we're going to shoot, it's going to be in a bar. That's and he's going to be what? A bartender, but a, it's bar a, a bartender. bartender, but it's also going to be bringing patients into the bar, and you know, it's going it's to be interesting. It's going to be. Uh, and uh, you, do they listen to him? Well, we haven't decided the story yet. Oh. But, uh, but you understand <laughs> what I'm trying to say? If he did say college or thing. Right. Well, his patients please. are going to come. In other words. He lost his place of uh, where he was a psychologist. He lost his office in the hospital, wherever he was. So now his office is going to be the bar, and his and his patients are going to come in. And uh, the the question is, are we going to be uh, instead of giving medication or whatever, he's going to give drinks? So we'll see what happens. It's um, it should be interesting. And we shot one episode, and then one of the cards got broken. So we've had a little bit of bad luck with the show, but we, so far we shot two good episodes, and they were filmed in your house. <laughs> you like him? When, do you like having your uh, home uh, as a studio? Always, <laughs> always. First of all, yeah. I get I get to see them. Uh, yeah. uh, Alan, yeah, they're terrific. They're beautiful people. Right. Great. They're be and normally in my life, will I ever see anything <laughs> like this? Never. And some of them I'm are really. Gr I mean, those actresses. Remember the girl that did the Russian accent? She was like, um, it was like Boris and Natasha. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. We had some unbelievable, um, really good performers. And you were good, Dad. You did great. Uh, and again, I want to. And I'm trying to do the best. Why? I'm a little frightened of you guys. Uh, and yeah. I'm, I'm serious. And, and no kidding. Right. First of all, you're a group of that's together. Right. And here I am, also part well, of. Well, you're you, part of the group. You, but part of you. Yeah. But the youth, meaning the young people. Yeah. It's there's coordination. But the other thing, what the thing that a lot of people say. And you know, they love working with a guy that's over. They love you. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, everybody loves working with right. you, and um, I, and that's it. And I was brought up, and I'll never change. Right. They're my every, they're my friends. I know, maybe, and they come maybe, in, and they you know, and maybe we, we can you imagine? Maybe we grew up together. I jumped from. And it was from, funny because we had like couples therapy, and you know, there was a woman who liked older guys who turns out to be her <laughs> girlfriend. There it that is. That was funny, and but it was great. You you were holding on to her. And, uh, you know, it was funny. It was great. And then we had, we have a guy, that, one guy that's very difficult to understand. His name is Peter Gaspar. Very, I, I think he's a great guy. Uh, he's a good actor, but he was also part of the cleanup crew for uh, the World Trade Center. Mm -hmm. when it, you know, he actually was one of the volunteers that went down and cleaned up the World Trade Center. Thank God, he, you know, he doesn't seem to have any pulmonary problems or whatever residual effects from it. But he, he comes from, um, I'm not exactly sure, but... Um, but he has an accent, very thick accent. So a lot of times when he talks, it's very, uh, you know, he's, he's talking, but that's part of his character. He says things, and no one really understands what he's saying. From the beginning, how did they all come together? Uh, in the show? Yes. I chose them. Um, uh, where, uh, uh, no, from where, from what? Well, first, what? okay, in, so well, from Scriptless, in Scriptless uh, the person who played your son, yes. uh, the other guy, Sam, he and I worked on a couple of movies together, and we did a web series together. No, this is what I'm trying to say. Right. So here you have two people. And, and then uh, there was a, a few other people I worked with, but I also, I, yeah, I worked on a movie um, called The Psychotics, a television show, which you worked on, too, with Ken Kushner. We got some of the people from him. Uh, we worked on another show called Scars of a Predator, and I got a girl from that show. But most of the people I got on the show were people I worked with. 
and some of them were, and some of them, I, and then I, the other people I got on the show were from our casting director, JT, um, JT Talent, uh, JT Entertainment, I think that's what it's called, but uh, LLC. Uh, he's, uh, he's our casting director, and he, he suggests people, and he suggested some good people in the last episode. I was blown away by their performances. It was that's unbelievable. Somebody suggests right. you try them. Right. No, well, they, they, but the thing they, is, though, I don't get a chance. Tried, I mean, they, right. they're working. I mean, they're yeah, a lot of times, the way it works is that we're usually under the gun. You know, we don't pay anything because, mm -hmm. you know, no. we're not making anything. You know, we just do it for the love of it. So, you know, for the most part, if people volunteer for the show, I take them. And I know JT, who's the casting director, is going to give us people who are good. And because it's scriptless, like even on the set when we're doing it, at, as soon as we come in, I mean, I used to do storyboards for Scriptless, the original one. Now it's Scriptless MD, and we're doing things like couples therapy. Really, on, on the spot, you know, I, I told this one person, you know, you're going to be with Peter. All of a sudden, she's talking like a Russian, like, like, uh, like she's from Russia. And, you know, it was like, and she was fantastic, you know. Another one we talked about, like the, the person who had the book that he signed about, you know, asked, had my name and Scriptless yeah. in it. He was playing uh, a cop, and uh, I told him that his undercover, uh, he, was under, he was an undercover cop, and he told his girlfriend he was an, a greeting card salesman. So she kept on saying, he doesn't send me greeting cards anymore. You know, it's like, I mean, and they're so good, and they're so beautiful. It, it's... Um, and, and, and part of that can be going in, in a show. I mean, even, I mean, that's the show. That's right. That is the show. Oh. I mean, that, that's, that's what the show was. So, and then you were great. I mean, the, you know, this, one, you know, I'm throwing spoilers out all over the place, but you met, you met this girl while you were in the hospital. It was like a nurse. And, you know, she, she says that, you know, you're not, the same, you're not like everybody else that she dates. Meanwhile, because she's in her 30s. So <laughs> it was funny. So, I mean, it's, it's interesting. We're trying to make it like a little bit funny. And uh, it was very funny. This was a great episode. But we're gonna we're gonna take it back to the bar. That's what I'm trying to do for the next episode. I really want to get. We, we we were looking at a couple of locations, and uh, that's that's where I want it. That's where I want the show to start. So. Uh, and, and it's in your mind already how it, how it's. Well, we're gonna do. We're gonna redo the episode because what happened was one of the cards, one of the memory cards, mm -hmm. uh, was dropped. So we and it got damaged. So we lost. You know, we used two two cameras. Yeah. One, the information on one camera was gone for a whole day, so it was like, oh my God, we lost the episode. But it, you know, so we're going to do the episode over. We basically have the I have the uh, the shot list, mm -hmm. so we're going to redo the shot list. We lost one of the actresses though, because um, she she has a commitment to work on a, on the show mm -hmm. for yeah, she's a working actress, so we're going to replace her. But. Um, but the other thing that's good is that I was able to get back some of the actors that we had on the original script list, and I like working with those guys because they know how to work with us, and uh, and that's, uh, and that's, that's important. The, Alan, to know how to work with somebody, yeah. and they want to know how, how you're going to work with them also, right. Right. and it's going to come together to coordinate. And it came out so good that the other thing is that the people that were in the first script list, the first season of script list, even if they thought for a while that maybe they didn't want to be on the show, now that it's on TV, on LMC TV, thank you very much, LMC TV. <laughs> but now that it's streaming live, also, it's like all of a sudden they're seeing. Wait a second, this this looks pretty good, you know. So they want to be back on the show, and uh, it's great. And how long do you think it's going to be? You keep on asking that question. It's going to continue. To be continued. That's all. That's it. There's no, <coughs> there's no end in sight. Um, as long as LMC TV lets me do it, I'm going to keep on doing it. Fine. That's it. And I'm glad there are, uh, there are things to talk about, new things. Well, the thing is, like, Jim and I put the show together now. We, I mean, I mean, he's helping me. We, to, as a team. We're a team. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it's nice. He, he's a professional actor. And, uh, I mean, he actually studied acting. I just did it. You know, he does. Mm -hmm. He studied it. And, you know, he went to school for it. And he has a degree in it. So it's, it's good. And we work well together. So that's the other thing. It's yeah. like almost every, we try every weekend to edit. And, you know, and it's, it's, that's the most important part. I mean, we have all the content, we keep on shooting, but if you can't edit it, all you have is like film that you didn't put together. And he's good at it. He's, he's doing a great job. And, he uh, and who else? 
What do you mean? How many people are helping? He edits him? it. Huh? He edits it. And I go. Only I'm, one person. And I'm with him. I, I, I basically oh, really? every uh, whenever he edits, I'm with him. So we actually look at the. Uh, you know, we we, we watch it together. You know? And the tour. And, and and do you agree with all the time? We never disagree. We never disagree. What's the disagree? I know it's, it. It's, no it's, one. It's, it's should we have done this or should Never, we? never. It's always. In other words, as long as we did it, this is how it's supposed to be. Right. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. And, and if he wants to change it, that's fine. I have no problem with it. I just, I mean, we usually do only like two takes of a scene. So we, it's usually obvious which, which take is the better, mm -hmm. you know? And we've learned a lot since we started. I mean, he was, an, you know, he was an editor before, but now we're doing it every week. He's doing it every week. So it's like every week we're working on it, and it's getting better and better. The editing makes it so much, I mean, it makes it better than then, uh, it, it, you know, it, it adds to it, you know? And the other thing that's interesting is, like, sometimes we have situations where we're, we only have, like, 20 minutes worth of film and the show's over. So we go back and look, we repurpose something, and he cuts out, like, just a few lines, and it fits perfectly with the story. Like, um, we had one thing that we didn't use because it was a pickup scene that we did in episode eight, but we wound up being able, but we forgot that we did it, so we had about, I don't know, two or three minutes of scene. So we just changed one thing, like we just eliminated one name, and it, were, it fit perfectly in episode uh, eight. So it was, it, we sh I mean, or whatever, whatever the whatever episode was. So we took it from an yeah. earlier episode, right. changed, just took away one name, and it fit right into the story, and it, beautifully. So uh, it's magic. That's yeah. the whole thing. I, it's work. It's not magic. No, but it's, it is magic because, you know, you just... Yeah, you, know, you just put these things together. The other thing is, there's a storyline. So right. as long yeah, as you have, the, that's the, the whole thing. Naturally, is the, right. So in other words, when that thing fell down, part of the story. Yeah. <laughs> you have to. You, huh? have to uh, you have to. You have to go with it, and that's the other thing. We don't have to worry about writers because we're the writers, you know. And we don't have to worry about the story because, even if there's like if an act, there have been times again where actors don't show up, which is kind of annoying, but it happens, you know. So. Because it's scriptless, we could change the storyline a little bit, you know, and uh, and it works. There has to be a time. I don't care because yeah. you, and it isn't only that you, that somebody will not show up. It's happened many times. No, understand. Mm -hmm. Right. And to be able to expect it. Well, we were supposed to have two more people on the show two weeks ago, but it turned out that we had exactly the right number, even though we would have, you know, we were expecting two more people. It was exactly the perfect amount. See. And how long did that take you to realize something like that? What, well, you could see we, we had everybody set up in your in, 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 you know in the group uh -huh. therapy session, and it was the perfect perfect number of people. And I, I still think you know I'm looking at Jim, and he sounds like I mean he really seems like a psychologist. It's it's <laughs> ridiculous. It's, and well, I said Dr. Kasak is the one who is helping me out. That's I know. all. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Meanwhile, you're the one who's helping him out, but uh -huh. that's in the earlier episode. But that's another thing. So, uh, Kara's doing well in college, which is nice. And, uh, and Aaron, you saw, you, you saw your grandson Aaron. Unbelievable. Uh, when he started, uh, again, he was singing Yiddish songs. Right. And this one guy, uh, Dave Orff. Yes. You know, and Alan, I was there when he just started. And the songs he sang, Aaron knew, all, he was he and I, and the, he, there was a trio singing. Right. But you know, tonight, we're shooting this on a Wednesday night, yes. and uh, Aaron's show, you know, he has, a radio, he has two radio shows. He, uh, he's home for a week, because mm -hmm. they, they have a break at Vassar, but he's actually going to be doing his radio show from home, because he could use... You know, he's not going to be able to speak, but he'll have the music. He's, he could actually choose the music for the radio station at home. So he doesn't even have to be in the studio to do his radio station. So I think that's pretty fascinating. It's amazing. Well, and then, besides all that, yeah. he has schoolwork to do. Right. He's doing, he's working on, um, a con you know, he's, he's taking three, I think, upper-level courses in computer science. He's, he's a double major. He's doing computer science and film. So um, he's really getting into the computer science, though. Right. He's getting into it now. The way I visualize it, you said he does this and this and this. Right. The idea, I think, is to get, is it to get a good mark. 
No, well, Mark no, understand what I'm trying to say, and this, and, and get a good mark, and that, and take get a good mark. Well, I think the marks oh, are important, but I think really it's understanding and, and doing. A, you know, I mean, you're going to get the good mark if you're able to do the good program. So he has to. He's actually programming things. So his a lot of the stuff is learning the language, and then actually programming something, no, that's doing a program. Learning the language. He was talking, and, I, and sometimes I didn't understand right. a word that he was saying, right. and it seemed so natural, right. so natural how it comes out and everything else. But I got to visualize, Alan, yes. and believe me, I think I was, I think I, I don't know how to even to express it, that he was bringing, telling me something, and I'm understanding it. Well, well, he, well he's also a good communicator. A communicator, there right. it is. Uh, it's interesting. I mean, we sit down. When he came back from school uh, on Friday, I think it was, or Saturday, Saturday uh, Wendy, uh, my wife Wendy, had like a, a high school reunion that she went to. So Aaron and I spent hours just talking, and we were just talking about everything. And um, it's great that you could have a relationship with you. It's sort of like this, only without the cameras, you know. So it was, we sat down and talked for a long time. And it was wonderful, you know. Uh, Lee, uh, right? So that's father and son. Right. But how about today when I was with Aaron? Yeah. And just sitting there, quilling. Yeah. I was, it was a wonderful, a wonderful experience for me. Right. I would listen to him. I said, boy, I remember when I was his age. I didn't say that. Right. And I would, it, knew the same thing. And, uh, and one thing I said, I'm, I'm, uh, one thing, again, I still have war on my mind, I, yeah. and I remember little by little I'm, I'm becoming a soldier. I was at that time, right. and they like him, and this was a different type of a well, life. Well, Aaron, Aaron will never be a, Aaron won't be a soldier. No, I don't mean it. Right. I mean the right. the idea is, whoever would think in Afghanistan? I know. Fourteen years mm -hmm. we, we're at. Who, yeah. who knows about? It? Mm -hmm. But if you look every now and then in the New York Times on the right. bottom of the page. An obituary, right. and you know, it's that, sad. It's, yeah. it, it's still fighting yeah. after for what? I know, Alan. Um, yeah, it's a crazy, it's a crazy yeah. world we live in. But you know, uh, Aaron's a good guy. He's, um, uh, he, yeah. you know, he, he's, he's the most progressive kid in the world. He's a wonderful person, and he educates me. You know, it's like uh, no, he's I a could, smart guy. I can see him. I, look, you I can see him being an educator. That's something he's thinking about. He was, when, uh, as he was talking to me, right. and I was saying, boy, here, here am I. I think he'd like to be, I think part of him wants to be a professor or something like that. Who knows? You know, it, that would be a nice job. Yeah. For him, it would be a nice job. He loves colleges, you know. And and also, he a professor. His name isn't Darren anymore. That's it. Hi, Doc. That's it. <laughs> it would be nice. Yeah. It would be nice. Things are good. And Kara. Kara's doing choreography now at, uh, at Wesleyan. And she's doing two shows, and she's in a dance show, and she's doing her homework, and she, she's very busy. And uh, she's a freshman, you know? She's, she's a very busy freshman. And uh, again, and she has time for herself. Well, yes. I mean... Uh, it's important. Alan, it's important. No, she does. But the other thing is she has friends that she can hang out with. So it's not just time for... She's already made... A, she has a group of good friends. That's what I mean. So it's not just time for herself. She has time for her friends as and well. And they're all together to be, I mean, not that they Karen. eat dinner together, they spend time in that's the evening together, they about. study together, they, you know, and she's good friends with her, uh, she has a good relationship with her roommate, which is also, you, you know, that doesn't always happen, so she has a good roommate. And her instructors? Good. I mean, you no, know. No, I mean, what does she think of them? I mean, um, I haven't had the discussion yet, but I'm sure she's happy with them, because that's, that's, how, that's how Kara is, you know. She's... Usually the, the uh, instructors like Kara, you know, she's always been someone who uh, we would always, when she, was, when, when she was younger, the teachers would always say that like she was their favorite because that's who she is, you know, she's just, she's a good student. We yeah. did a good job. Well, when, Wendy, Wendy did uh, it. Now, natural, uh, please, I, when I say we, I know. mom and I, we talk mom, Bubby, whatever right. you want to call her, and? And Wendy, Wendy, uh, Dragged them to this and that. Took you know, took Kara to all these uh, dance classes and all this stuff. And it's uh, and it's just starting. I know. For both of you, for both of you, are just starting. Right. And now, Cara, Wendy and I are, are now back together again mm -hmm. for the first time in 20 years. You know, just oh. being just the two of us. 
they, like that old, like the old songs, the, the mother who had three daughters, yeah. well, how well is this one gonna get married? Finally, they all get married. What am I gonna <laughs> do, three empty beds? I know. No. <laughs> but it, it's, it's interesting, you know, now Wendy and I go out to eat, you know, uh, when, you know, we spend more time, we do things on the weekends. We never did it because we were always home with the kids or, you know, just, there were things to do. Now yeah. there's less things to do. And, uh, I went through that. Yeah. And, uh, but one thing I never, I, I forgot, I traveled, Alan. I know. And I don't, and uh, it has reminded me, I mean, uh, the, well, I did this, I did that. Not all, we did it. I know. We, I know. we did it. And I kept on going, and uh, again, until the time when she had to leave, right? And it, and, and I was, uh, it was me now. Yeah, we miss, we miss mom, you know. But uh, that's it. Mom would have enjoyed this. No, that's. But one thing I, I even say, even though, like we're talking, to, to to think about those times, sh we shouldn't, right. because it happened already. Right. Ne that can never change. That can never change, right. because it stopped. Right. Now it's, it's something else. Yeah, but you don't forget about it. No, and, uh, you can't for, never forget about it. Right. Then, I but I do. I just remember when you know, because mom passed away in two thousand nine, mm -hmm. and that's six years ago. So Carol was twelve. You know, so it's like, it's like a whole you know, Alan, all this six years. That's Alan. That's what I'm trying to say. And that's in right. those times, yes. then, we made a separate, a good. I think, boom. Yeah. We made a good life. Right. Why? Because we were together. We were together. I know. And little by little, you get older. Right. Was, we, right now, it's a big deal. Yeah. We're starting, like I jokingly say, I'm pushing 101. Right. <laughs> you're almost there. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's, you're no, almost there. Say a little, again, and, not, and, and uh, uh, the whole thing, and they like what I say this way. The, what do you? What's the big deal? Right. The days become weeks. The weeks become months. That's the months a, become years. Boom! I know. Well, and that's that's your line. That's one of your lines. <laughs> that's, that's a it's a good line. That's though. A it's good, so true. I, I think the same it, thing. Like even you know, uh, just for everyone's life. That's what. That's how it goes. You know, and uh, and it goes fast. But it, it time. Fast. It, uh, it's a shame. I know. Time goes fast. Did it go fast when we were when? Uh, Forty or fifty years. You know, ago. I was thinking the other day, and this was what I was thinking: when you're young and you have all the time in the world because you have the whole future yes. ahead, you never have enough time. And then when you get older, all you have is time. So it's like it's almost the opposite. I mean, you, you and again, like you, they, you know, the old cliche is that you know youth is wasted on the young. You don't realize when you're young, you think it's going to be like that forever. Oh man, I forgot that youth is wasted on the young. That's How it. about youth? Can you imagine youth being wasted on the old? No. Never. I mean, no. I mean, because that's all you, you know, <laughs> you think about, you know? That's it. But life is good, right? Yes. And I'm, I'm, look, I'm look a... I mean, you know, I was just even looking at Al, again, like Al Bendick, your cousin, uh -huh. right? I was looking at his, uh, some words that were written today, I mean, written for him. I was looking at it today on the internet. And, you know, like, when you leave something behind like that, you know, whatever it is. And you've left, look what you've left behind. I mean, you know, if it wasn't for you, there'd be less cardiologists in the world, there'd be less pediatricians. You know, I mean, there's people that, uh, you know, it's, you, you, you've made it, you've, your life has made a difference. You know? And yet, one t once upon a time, I was given a balling out. I said, I know. your son wanted you to be a doctor. And your no, son. Right. <laughs> no, you, why, you know, the, the issue was, uh, that you, why didn't your parents, uh, the, the, that's what she said. She said, why didn't your parents let you go to college to become a doctor <laughs> 70, 80 years ago? No, you know? But the funny thing about it, seriously, yeah. there's that old joke. Oh, you have four children here. Yeah. I have a doctor, a lawyer, yeah. a professor, uh, 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 a butcher. Right. And if it wasn't for the butcher, we wouldn't have a penny. <laughs> we wouldn't That's have a it. penny. We have a penny. penny. <laughs> That's it. That's it. And even David says, you know, he says that, you know, if you wanted to, be, if you wanted to make money, the, you know, being a doctor isn't it. But you know something about time? Time always plays, you know, havoc with us. Oh, it oh, always plays havoc. The pleasure. And, and there's only one thing left to say, Pop. Just one. And you know what it is? That's a wrap. Good night, folks. <laughs>